Hello, and welcome to the tour of the American Fact Finder, a data query tool for the U.S. Census. You'll use this to complete your in-class activity for your online class, to complete the facts about Nevada worksheet, and you'll also need to do this for the state that you choose to work with for Assignment 3. To get here, you can Google American Fact Finder, or you can type in the web address that you see above, factfinder.census.gov, and that should bring you here. Once you get here, it is important that you move to guided search. Students are often tempted to check the community facts, but it'll be harder to find the information that you're looking for, and it may not be as accurate as the information that you find through this query tool. So please be sure to click on guided search and move from there. We're going to click here on get me started, and we'll move step by step through the process of collecting your information. I'm going to switch over now to the Word document with the Census uh, Fact Finder worksheet. Here it is. So you're going to be looking for this data. Again, for your online class assignment, it'll be data about Nevada. And then for assignment three, it will be any state besides Nevada that you choose to work with for this assignment. So you're going to be looking for some information, the total population, the percent male and female, uh, breakdowns by racial ethnic background, percent rural and urban, some information on income, and then information on how people commuted to work. All of this information is available through the fact finder, so let's switch back over there and get started. All right, so we are going to be starting by looking for information about people. Uh, it's already selected, so we'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, the first set of information that you'll be looking for is available in the basic count estimate category. So we'll click on the plus to expand that. And then we will choose uh, population total. Go ahead and click next. So we can add our next set of selections. Now we're going to choose the type of our geography. Uh, and this is state because we're going to be looking for the state of Nevada. We'll bring up our list of states. We'll choose Nevada, and then we'll choose Add to your selections. And you'll see that Nevada joins population total in the box with the selections on the right. Now we'll go ahead and click Next. We're going to skip this section on racial ethnic background, so we'll just click Next to move through, and we'll see our results. The table that you'll find the information you're looking for in is this one here, ACS Demographic and Housing Estimates. If you go ahead and click on that, It'll pull up the actual data that was collected during the last census uh, and show you the information that you need to complete your worksheet. Right up here at the top, you'll see the total population, and then you'll also see male and female. You'll note that male and female is also broken down by percentage, so you can go ahead and copy those right onto your worksheet. That'll take care of the first two categories that you're looking for. As you scroll down, you'll also see the information on racial ethnic background. A uh, question I often get is how to complete these exact categories. So let's switch back over uh, and we will take a look at where those come from. So we've got here percent white, black, Af uh, American Indian, Alaskan Native, Asian, Native Hawaiian, other Pacific Islander, other, two or more, and Hispanic. So let's go back over to the table. And here we'll see, um, into our group that says one race, we'll see white, Black or African American, American Indian, Alaska Native, Asian here, Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Island, uh, and then we will also be looking for um, the percent other, which is this, some other race, and then flipping back to our worksheet real quickly, uh, we'll be looking for percent two or more, uh, and that's this one right here, and then for the information on uh, percent Hispanic, that is going to be right here under Hispanic or Latino and race, um, under total population, next line down, percent Hispanic or Latino. So if you flip back to our worksheet real quick, you can see where all of those individual items came from. Uh, next we're going to need to move to another table, so I'll switch back to the American Fact Finder. Uh, and now we're going to go back, so we're going to leave this table and we're going to go back to uh, Topics. So you'll note that our other selections still appear here on the right. I'm going to clear Population Total out because I don't need that table anymore, but I can leave Nevada there because I'm still looking for facts about Nevada. I'm going to go back to Basic Counter Estimate, 
expand that, and we'll see the table here that has the urban rural population in it. Go ahead and click on urban rural, uh, and then the same process. Next, we're skipping geography this time because we already have Nevada on our list. We're going to skip the racial ethnic background breakdown, and we'll go straight to our results. Uh, we'll go here um, to the urban and rural uh, table that's identified as P2. Go ahead and open it up, and that's going to give us the information that we're looking for. Uh, in this case, the information is presented as raw numbers instead of percentages. This is the only percent that, percentage that you'll need to calculate for your worksheet. Uh, so go ahead to define that worksheet, or to define that percentage rather, uh, you'll take the total number of urban residents, which is 2,543,797, and divide it by the number of total residents here. So 2,700,551. You'll divide those two numbers and then you'll multiply the result by 100 and that will give you the percentage of urban residents. Uh, you can subtract that urban percentage uh, from 100 to get the rural percentage or you can repeat the process for rural. Again, if you're not comfortable calculating percentages, you're gonna take the total number of rural residents, you'll divide it by the total number of Nevada residents and then you'll multiply that result by 100 to get your percentage. We'll flip back to our uh, results table real quick, and you can see where that would get filled in. We'd have our percent rural and our percent urban filled in on this list. That's all the information that we need for that table, so we're gonna switch back to the fact finder and switch tables again. So we'll come back up here to topics, and we'll remove this table. Again, we're done with that. Uh, and our next category is going to be income and earnings. The table that we're looking for next, right here, is income and earning households. And we'll do the same as we did before. Click Next. Still have Nevada on our selection list, so we don't need to change that. Click Next again. Skip through our racial ethnic background breakdown. Uh, and we're going to move on to this table right here, Selected Economic Characteristics, uh, which the ID number here is DP03. So we'll click on that to open the table, and we'll see this data from 2015. Uh, so if we flip back over to our worksheet, you'll see that the first set of data that we're looking for is mean household income, median household income, and per capita income. So switching back to our table results, as we scroll down through the table, we'll see mean household income, median household income, and then scrolling down just a little bit farther, we will see per capita income. So that's those first three sets of data, per capita income, $26,541. All right, as we switch back to our data collection sheet, uh, the next set of information we're looking for is about families who live below the federal poverty line, that's FPL. So that's our next set, all families, and then families with children under 18. So we'll switch back to our table. And now we're going to need to scroll down just a little bit farther. A couple of rows down, you'll see this section, percentages of family and people whose income in the past 12 months is below the poverty level. That's that FPL number. So we'll look here first for all families, and we'll see that percentage is 11.4%. And the next row down will give us families below FPL with children under 18, and that's 17.8% for Nevada. So we'll switch back to our table, fill that information in for families and, and FPL data, and then our last set of data here is about how people get to work. So if we switch back to our table, this time we're going to scroll up, and that was one of the first sets of data that was presented in this table. So this is the information on commuting to work. Among workers over 16, uh, here are the percentages and how they reported uh, doing um, how they reported their transportation. So we've got car, truck, or van, uh, and then we've got public transportation, walked, other means. And you can see how those uh, pieces of data correspond with the information that you'll need to fill out on that sheet. Uh, once you've completed that, then you're done with your assignment for your in-class activity. You'll also need this information for assignment three, and in this case, you'll be repeating these steps, but for another state of your choice. Again, do Nevada for your online class activity. 
and then any other state for your assignment three. If you have any questions about this, please reach out and let me know. I uh, hope that this was helpful and that you'll be able to complete the work for your in-class activity and for your written assignment. Have a good day.